it happened in a split second. Seventh grade basketball coach Bronson Summers was running sprints during an open gym here at Paul Nelson Gymnasium just three days before the Thanksgiving holiday when he suddenly suffered cardiac arrest and collapsed. With mere minutes before certain tragedy, a group of Thatcher Middle School basketball players and their coach sprung to action and helped save Summers' life, giving him and his family a bit more to be thankful for the holiday. Eighth grade basketball coach Luke Ochoa explains the situation. We were running sprints and I was standing on a new basket and uh, Bronson was running with the kids and I noticed that he went down and it kind of went, looked a little funny so I started walking towards him and then, um, and then as I got closer to him I saw blood coming out of his mouth and so I kind of realized it was a little serious and so um, I tried picking up his body and I couldn't really because he was kind of shaking a little bit and so I called for help from some of the students and uh, so we were able to lift his body and all the kids immediately they asked if they should call 911 if they should get the AEDs and I said yes yes go do it and uh, so they went and got got those and immediately I got him over and I started just pumping on his chest and pumping on his chest um, and then a couple minutes came by and then they brought the AEDs over and they brought the phone call with 911 with the operator right there we had shocked him once kept pumping on his chest and then. We were on the phone with the operator and they told us to go ahead and shock him again, so we shocked him again and I was pumping his chest some more and then he, he kind of started breathing on his own again and then um, after that, luckily we had some parents um, that came running in, that was a nurse and helped out and kind of took control of the situation. I just heard the coach roll down and then I just heard Coach Luke Cajola, like trying to call his name and he didn't answer. Well, I called 911. I was glad I was there for the time to help him. And the coach runs over to check to see if he's okay, and he's like on the ground and everything. So he's like, Brett, Branson, come help me like turn him over. So I turn to Wyatt and I say, we need to go, we need to grab the AED just in case things get bad. And so Wyatt, since he's faster than me, runs and grabs the AED, gets it, and so we all go over to the thing, they start opening the AED. Me and Brett start like trying to take his shirt off and everything to get it on him. And so, because he's, lips, his lips are blue, he's barely breathing and everything. So we strap it on him and it shocks him and he starts getting like a little bit more responsive and at this point Justin had called 911 and everything and so me and White ran out to go flag down the ambulance. Me and Branson, we like flip, we flipped him over, like I, we had to take his shirt off to get like the AED like patches on and stuff, so, yeah, I just had like the more physical part because like, I like had to hold his head and make sure that he was like it will not, the stuff would have been good to work on it. Uh, it makes me feel really good that we were able to make sure that he's okay. Kind of just happened real fast and you kind of just went go, go with the flow. How did you know how to use that thing? You just listened to the instructions? Yeah, it just talked to me and I just kind of went with it. Me and Branson helped do it together, went through it together. Was that, was that kind of, kind of, were you like a little scared using little that thing? Scared, were you worried yeah. you're going to get shocked or anything like that? No, I told you to back up, so I was plenty far away from it. But it was pretty traumatic, and I'm glad we were able to help him. Just glad he can still help us become better basketball players. So I actually wasn't going to go to the open gym because I have some spine issues, but I decided to go that day just because I felt like it was the right thing to do. And I'm really glad that we went because it turned out to be um, probably one of the better things that could have happened because I have faith that the other guys that were there could have done it by themselves, but I'm glad that me and Wyatt got to do it to help them. And what was it like to, to get that machine out? You knew exactly where the machine was? Yeah, because we walked, it's over there, so we walked by, uh, we walked past it for football practice every day because we had the same routine to go through, and we would always kind of just make a mental note that it was there. I would. Uh, so, the thing that happened with the girl over at the track field, after that happened, I would, my, she's my neighbor, so I've heard her talk about it, and I would just make a mental note that it was there every day. The kids knew right where the AED machine was kept. They've noted it before. Ever since their classmate, 11-year-old Julie Hancock, collapsed while running during track practice two years prior. Despite a valiant effort by coaches and emergency personnel, Hancock wasn't able to be saved from her heart condition. 
Thatcher School Superintendent Matthew Peterson praised his district for purchasing the various AED machines and said the schools will institute training on them for the student body when school starts back up after the winter break. It's just been a crazy thing, man. Uh, it's emotional hearing all of it. Like, just, just everything worked out perfectly. Like, I couldn't, I mean, I'm always, like, going out on runs by myself or, like, bikes by myself. And, it just couldn't happen at a better place. Like even if it would have happened at home, like they, you know, they probably wouldn't have saved me in time. Like their quick actions and, and Luke's quick actions, and then like even everyone calling it, just like the whole community, it just seemed like got me to the hospital so quick. And I don't know, I'm so grateful, and it's just like a, a miracle, you know. And it, it's sad that um, the little Hancock girl like had to go through it, but it's just awesome to see like good able to, you know, come from that like terrible, terrible thing. Um, I wish it would have flipped, you know, but I'm just so grateful and there's no way I can ever repay all the people who've helped, you know, except just try to live a good life and, and just try to help others along the way too. But. I'm so grateful for them. I love, I was really hesitant about coaching. Like, I, I didn't know if I wanted to do it, but since I had Luke, I was, you know, wanted to try. And it's just been an awesome experience already. And it's really helped me, you know, stay on track and stuff. So I don't remember anything of the night, but hearing stories, I'm like, um, I think that I was doing pretty good in, in running and stuff. But I don't know, they said I wasn't winning. But I don't know, it's, it's scary. Um, if it would have been the other way around, no, I, I think I would have panicked a little bit, but just having so many good young men willing to act, and I know these five helped, but I know that, you know, there would have been others that acted too, like, they're just a good group of kids, and it's because it's a good community, um, there's a lot of people doing what they're supposed to be doing here, and I'm just grateful to be, you know, just like a little part of it, so. Reporting from Thatcher for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.